Hi, it's Chris again. Welcome to session three of the COVID Crisis Cricket Coaching Series. I hope you've been enjoying uh, the previous coaching sessions. Um, as we approach week three of lockdown, we all need something to keep us occupied and active. Um, what better way than practicing your cricket skills? So get out there in the sunshine this week uh, and enjoy the session. Uh, as before, make sure you ask your parent or guardian and check that it's okay to do the drills, especially if you're doing them inside. Okay, hope you enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the cricket, see you later. So for the warm-up for this session, uh, we're going to focus on strength and balance in the ankles. Hopefully this will help prevent um, twisted ankles when you're playing and training, okay? So first of all, um, I want you to uh, just go up and down on both tiptoes, Will's going to do it with me, just slowly and gently, ten times up and down, okay? So five, really concentrate on keeping nice and balanced if you can. Eight, nine, ten, okay? Uh, and secondly, did I miss one? Secondly, practice balancing on one foot for the count of ten. One, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do it a bit slower than that. Then swap feet and balance on the other foot. Okay, really make sure you're balancing steadily as possible. Okay, 8, 9, 10. And then the third section is going up on just one foot, up onto the tiptoes on one foot, which is much harder. So be careful and do it steadily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on each foot, okay? Swap over to the other side. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so do that circuit another two times to make three times in total, um, and then we'll move on to the next bit of the warm up. Okay, so for the next bit, um, you need something to balance on. Uh, so some people might have a uh, wobble board already if you're lucky. What I've done is I've got an old bit of cupboard door and I've nailed a log to it to make a little wobble board. Okay, so see if um, somebody at home can do that for you. And then you need to practice balancing like this, okay? So for the next bit of the drill, once you've got the hang of balancing, then get somebody else to throw you some gentle catches. Try and keep that balance at the same time. So if you keep nice and low, feet shoulder width apart, Keep those hands low and your knees bent. Okay, that's a really good exercise for your ankles. Well done, Will. See how many you can do before you fall off. Oh, like that. Okay, if you haven't got somebody to do it with, uh, then do it up against a wall uh, and you can do it by yourself. So spend about um, 10 minutes, I would, doing that. You can swap around with your partner uh, and that's a warm up. Okay, this is the batting drill of uh, session three. So we're going to be concentrating on hitting the ball onto the leg side when the ball has been bowled at your legs. Okay, there are two uh, approaches to this shot. There's a front foot and a back shot, a back foot version. Okay, so the front foot version, um, you're going to be playing when the ball is relatively full and you can come forward and attack it confidently. Okay, so I'm going to show you that one first. So obviously I'm starting in my normal stance. For this shot though, you do want to be thinking about the bat um, swing pointing through to mid on rather than straight down the ground, okay? And then I'm going to step forward with my front foot, keep the ball on the leg side, uh, swing the bat down, and then just as I contact the ball, I'm going to twist with the bottom hand so that it ends up, hopefully, square, okay? Okay. Oh, hit the chicken, five points. Okay, so that's gone, just in front of square on the leg side. You'll see, you'll see that we're using the uh, our trusty bottle rather than the cricket tee because it's a little bit higher, so it's a bit more realistic for this shot. Right, I'll show you that one again. So this is the front foot version. Yeah. And 
for the front foot version of the leg side shot from the other angle. So I'm stepping forward to keep the ball leg side, swinging the bat down through towards mid on and then twisting at the last moment. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to show you the back foot version of this leg side shot. So for the back foot version, this is going to be a ball which is pitched on a good length, so a bit further back from the batsman, um, and you're not going forward to it. You're, you're stepping back a little bit, so it's a bit more of a defensive shot, and often it's going to be more of a glance rather than a powerful shot. Okay? So start with your front foot right there in front of the ball, so you're playing the ball underneath your head and your body. You go forward a little bit and then onto the back foot, bring the back down, as I said before, with the back going towards mid on and then twisting just at the end, okay? Okay, so from the other angle, this is the back foot version of the leg side glance. So remember, leaning forward to start with and then back onto the back foot. Okay? So once you're getting good at hitting this shot off a tee, um, if you've got a partner, you can start trying to hit the ball from throwdowns. Okay, so Will's going to hit the shots. I'm going to do some throwdowns. First of all, we're going to do the front foot version of the shot. So I'm going to try and throw some full balls on his legs. Uh, and we set up the wheelie bin there at square leg. So he's either going to try and hit it in front or behind the square leg. Uh, so it goes past the fielder. Okay? Nice shot, that's it. Brilliant, well done. Okay, so it's really important to just think about bringing the bat down through mid on before you twist it round. Ooh, good try, that was a bit leg side. Keep going. Nice shot, look behind the square, good lad. So we've been doing the front foot shot with throw downs. Now I'm going to throw the ball a bit shorter uh, so that Will can practice the back foot version. Okay, still he's trying to avoid the square leg fielder. Especially fielding square leg for us now. Okay. Oh. That's a nice leg glance. Well played. This is probably the easier of the two shots because you've got a bit more time as you go backwards to play the shot. But for the fielding drill, I just want you to practice close catching, uh, and in particular reaction catches, okay? So if you've got one of these uh, oddly shaped balls, those are really good because they bounce unpredictably. Yeah. The other thing you could use if you've got one is uh, an irregular bouncy ball like this which goes a bit unpredictably, okay. Or if you've only got a cricket ball, that's fine. Uh, but just uh, maybe spin it or bounce it in different ways to make it a bit tricky for the catchers, okay. So you two stand a couple of meters apart, and remember to think about those three key things uh, that we talked about with catching uh, in session two. I think it was. Yeah. So, uh, Cecily, what's one of those? Uh, watch the ball into your hands. Watch the ball into your hands. Will, give me another one. Cushion the ball. Show me what you mean. So cushion the ball as it comes into your hands. And third one, Cecily? Hands glued together all the time. So keep your hands together and also... Flat. Open and flat. Well done. Okay, good girl. Okay, here we go then. Oops. Get yourself in that ready position, Cess. Well done. <laughs> Whoops. Ready, Cecily? Bend your knees a little bit more, that's it, good girl. Nice, try and keep your hands together. So just vary the um, feeds a bit, so some of them are going to bounce, some of them aren't. Some of them are spinning, some of them are quick. Might be a high one chucked in there, well done Will. A low one. Well done, okay. So if you carry on with doing those catches uh, for a good ten minutes or so, 
and then we'll move on to the next drill. Right, for the bowling drill for this session, you really need to do this outside. If you can't do it outside, then maybe go back and do one of the drills uh, that we've done previously. Uh, what I've done is I've set up the front foot line again, like we did in the last session. Um, and hopefully you've been practicing your run up so you land on the line every time. And then I've put um, a bit of cardboard on the floor there, which is what I'm going to aim at. So we're going to be practicing hitting the right length and consistently hitting the same length with, the, with our bowling, okay? Uh, if you haven't got any stumps, that doesn't matter. Maybe use uh, Mr. Wheelie Bin again to aim at. Uh, we, we've got Tom behind the stumps as well today, collecting the ball. Okay, so what we need to do is mark out your run-up again. Just a few steps run-up, not the whole thing. And then practice coming in, bowling and landing on a length. Doesn't matter about the line at the moment. If it goes leg side or off side, I'm not too worried. Just see if you can land on that marker every time. If you haven't got a bit of cardboard, um, use some cones or uh, whatever you can to mark the spot that you want to land in. Okay, so I've already marked up my run up a minute ago. Okay, not too bad. See if I can hit it again. So just bowling your normal ball, if you want to bowl spin, then that's fine. If you're bowling fast, uh, then just do that. Right, Cecily's going to have a go. Well done, Cecily. This is set up for Cecily's length, so that's just perfect. Ideal for her. Obviously, it depends on how long your garden is, but try and set it up for the length that's right for you. Well done, Tom. Good take. And then spend a good 10 or 15 minutes just practicing this skill. Good try, Cecily. One more. Up. Right, here she comes. Excellent. Well done. Look at that. Hit the stumps. Good girl. So remember, when you're practicing hitting the same length again and again, the same principles about bowling apply. Try and make sure everything is in line. Get your arm up nice and high. Keep your eyes and your head still and everything pointed at the stumps. Oh, that was really close. Well done, Cecily. So that's session three nearly finished. You just need to do a cool down for five minutes or so. Uh, and for this cool down, we've got three um, gentle exercises to do. The first one is going to be the bat shuffle. Uh, Will's going to show us how to do that. So side step to the side, touch your bat in, swap hands, touch the bat the other side. Make sure you reach out with that bat, Will. So do five of those on each side, so ten in all. Okay. All right, thanks, Will. That'll do. Uh, the second one is going to be the front foot lunge, okay? So five on one side, so step in like you're playing a front foot defensive shot. One, two, and uh, do five of those on each side. Well done, Will. Really uh, lunge into that front leg, that's it. Okay, five, and then swap round and do the other one. You have to pretend like you're left-handed. Or if you're left-handed, pretend you're right-handed for the other side. That's it. One, two, three. Keep going well. Four. Five. Well done. And the last exercise is the bat squat. Okay, so bat down on the floor, squat down, pick it up, raise it above your head. And we'll do ten of those. One, two, three. If you want for a bit of extra exercise, you can do a little jump at the end. Ten. Okay, so those are the exercises. Do one more set of those and that will be your five minutes or so cool down. Well done.